<sighs> hey guys, it's Paul from Bandstrap. <clears throat> hey guys, it's Paul from Bandstrap, <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna talk another. Uh, talk another. We're gonna make another video on uh, jackets and uh, relating to winter fashion. Uh, we'll learn together on how you know outfits should look. Uh, maybe. Uh, try to be a little bit minimal, try to be uh, a little bit more sophisticated. Uh, I'm still learning about like fashion. Um, <clears throat> I'm not like super into it, but it's like good to know uh, just in case I want to look a certain way for different like events or, you know, whatever you're, I'm about to do, uh, whether it's like errands or an event and a certain type of event, like fancy or more casual. Uh, I feel like it's good to know. Uh, and also <clears throat> having the option to like stow the like jacket or sweater, something warm that you need uh, outside, uh, you know, if especially if there's no coat check at wherever you're going, uh, that'd be nice to like have that option to like just put your jacket away and like not have to worry about it. And, um, you know, it's uh, it's always there and you need it whenever you need it. You can just grab it. Um, so I'll talk about how that can like apply to your outfits, but let's just uh, get into it. <laughs> you see, this is a gorgeous outfit. Beautiful coat, love the color, but it's just not practical for winter. It's not warm enough, it's not versatile enough. I mean, how often am I actually gonna wear a bold green coat like this? You see, when it comes to building a good winter wardrobe, there's a few staples that everybody should have. Eight, to be exact. Eight timeless pieces that you can mix and match with everything. My name is Tim DeSaint, and today we're talking winter fashion Paul. essentials. First up, we have the classic long coat. A good coat is a must have for any winter wardrobe. Whether you go for a pea coat, a parka, single breasted or double breasted, everyone looks good in a coat. My favorite is the black overcoat. You can wear it with practically mm. anything and it'll look stylish. You can even match coats with your partner. I think I need to get a black overcoat, man. I feel like he has so many overcoats and that if that, if that is his favorite, then I think I got a cop one for sure. Um, whoever like has fashion, uh, like sense and they're, they're on YouTube, like Tim or, um, uh, fly with Johnny Ty. He, uh, you know, he recommends like his favorite, like shirt, the airism over oversized shirt. Um, I never look back, um, with, you know, I mean, like I did look back, I got other t-shirts, but like, that is the, I actually agree. That is like the best t-shirt, super breathable, looks so good. Like no matter what you're doing, it looks just, it looks good with everything. Uh, you really can't fail. Uh, so just cop one of those if you, um, if you know what I'm saying. If you want, the black overcoat is like the French fries to your steak, the butter to your bread. It's the must have coat of all coats. Okay. Uh, I my boy recommends it. Next, this we hard, have oversized scarves. It. Personally, I feel the cold most when my neck is exposed. Mm. So I love a good chunky scarf to wrap around myself I and see. stay cozy. If you also want to... I have a scarf, but it's like just the standard size. And it always, I feel, I mean, it's not like that small, but it always like falls off and it's a little annoying. Um, so having like a super big one, I feel like that would be, that'd be nice. But I guess uh, it could really like add to the weight of your outfit. So if it's too much... I think a band strap would actually help like you just like rope it around it and then like use the mini band to attach it so it doesn't fall off and uh, you can use it when you need. I think that's a really good, I, I haven't even thought of this like use case, but yeah. I want to get that oversized look, I'd recommend getting a scarf that is at minimum 180 centimeters long and 40 centimeters wide. Mm, These ones from Acne perfect. Studios are 200 by 70. Color wise, I'd suggest starting out with a black, gray, or beige, as those will be the easiest to mix and match with other colors. Yeah, that's true. Third on the list, we have warm pants. Black Don't let your legs freeze in winter like with flimsy, lightweight fabrics. It's been scientifically proven that wool and cotton are the best pure materials at keeping you warm. My winters in London are pretty mild compared to some others, but my go-to are a good pair of denim jeans, some heavyweight cotton sweatpants, and thick wool trousers. The real hack though, if it's freezing cold where you are, is to wear thermals underneath your pants. Yeah, These that's layers key, that's are key. key to like that, the having thermals, uh, it's so important. Like it doesn't matter like what you wear actually, even in like Toronto, it's like really cold or like New York. Um, yeah, I think Toronto is even colder than New York, but yeah, like having those like Uniqlo 
inner leggings you can wear like pretty much anything like except for like linen that i feel like that's like summer pants um that's breathable for that but i i wouldn't recommend you can even do that and you'd be decent um but any jeans as long as it's like baggy enough uh you don't want it like skin tight or whatever i don't think it even looks good but yeah uh it'll you'll you'll be warm to staying warm in cold winters at number four, we have the crew neck knitted sweater. A warm sweater is a must have for any winter wardrobe. And there are so many different variations of styles that you can play around with. Slim, oversized, different types of knits. So feel free to experiment. But in terms of fabric, ideally you want to go for a 100% wool or cashmere sweater or a wool cashmere blend. That's worrisome. I actually accidentally dried a wool sweater uh, of, of somebody's. And uh, yeah, that basically like ruined and it shrank it like four sizes and it would, I don't know. I looked up like uh, how to like stretch it back and you need to like use soap and like water um, and like warm water to let, and like stretch it after it's been in the water for a long time. I tried that like five times. It did nothing and it, you just had to throw it out. Like it was, it was, it was done. Uh, so make sure you don't dry it. Make sure you don't even like wash it. I think, um, I think you need to like hand wash it. You can't, you can't do anything running it in the, uh, washer. I think that's also like, everything's bad for that. So I just avoid wool. Other than ones that have polyester as it'll not only keep you warmer, but it's also better for the environment to avoid polyester when possible for a casual yet put together. Look, you can pair your favorite knit with a coat, some boots and your choice of pants, jeans or trousers. It is a super versatile item. A quick moment to thank our sponsor, Grana. This cashmere is a sponsor, so we're just gonna skip that. Chinese silk and lensing tensile. My favorite piece from Grana is the Supima S2. They have it in a few different like code to the video. There is no winter essential more essential than the puffer jacket. You can go for a classic short I don't really like jacket the look of that. black That's wear so over short a hoodie or your favorite knitwear for a cozy area. casual Arms vibe. Or if you long. want to switch it up, you can try like a, a long one. puffer as that well. Looks, the great thing better. about a long Even puffer that is that it'll help keep your legs nice and warm too. Bad, this one is my go-to <clears> or my girlfriend's go-to. I don't know whose it is anymore, to be honest, with how often she wears it herself. I understand though, it's a nice piece. It's so easy to just throw on as you walk out the door and it looks a bit smarter than a short short puffer so you can even get away with wearing it on top of a suit if needed. Brand wise, you can never go wrong with a North Face puffer, but you can also find some good stuff and more affordable prices. These two, for example, are from previous collections of Uniqlo and ASOS. And number six, we have gloves. Can't forget that one. There are many different styles of gloves to choose from. Classic leather, fingerless. Don't be like me and don't get like the Dollarama ones. Uh, it's super cheap. Actually, it's actually not bad. It, like if you if you still want to maneuver your hands, uh, it actually works with your phone. I think um, you don't need to get those like special phone gloves like that can you know work with the the screen. Like I think the Dollarama ones work uh, just the same, um, and it keeps you pretty warm. You don't really need. Actually, they're kind of underrated. Never mind. Yeah. Wool or cashmere, Gore-Tex, nylon, etc. You want to find a balance between function and fashion here. Something that keeps you warm, but is not so chunky that it looks like ski gloves. Warm mm -hmm. fabrics like wool or cashmere will do a great job at keeping your hands warm while not being too bulky. As you can see here, these 100% cashmere ones from Grana are quite thin, yet they feel very warm and extremely soft. For number seven, we have beanies. You know me, I'm not usually a beanie kind of guy. I usually much prefer a baseball cap, but I've caved in. I admit beanies are simply warmer and more suitable for the winter months. So here I am trying to make Maybe. a beanie work for Comment my shaped head. I actually don't mind this, you know? Ooh, I might start better. wearing beanies more. Last but not least, we have the two-in-one sweater and scarf combo pack, the turtleneck. An absolute must-have for winter. I love a good black turtleneck on both men and women. You can wear it underneath okay. a casual jacket or a blazer if you want to look smarter. You can also play around with the thickness and fit of your turtleneck. So depending on your style, you could go for a more fitted one to easily layer it with a slim jacket. Or if you prefer a more relaxed silhouette, go for a chunky oversized turtleneck. And make sure whatever you wear on the outside is roomy enough to accommodate the sweater. Those are my top eight winter fashion essentials. It's always hard to, you know, um, like layer it like that. <clears throat> you either do a standalone turtleneck that's like baggy or you have a, like a smaller one and then you have like an oversized like coat. Um, 
Yeah, and like I feel like so many combinations will look a little bit off, but like you can't put your finger on it. So uh, it's always good to experiment and like try and like only get things maybe like um, if you have like ideally you even bring the turtleneck that you already have uh, that you like and you you go to a jacket store and you try that on like where, wherever you, you want to buy it and then see if it actually looks good together. Uh, and then if you love that combo, then like try to do um, that combination um, going forward instead of just like piece by piece. Um, yeah, because like I feel like a lot of combinations like it's hard to even think about to like, yeah, uh, to like have that with you when you're shopping. But if you can, if you love it, then you pick it up. If not, it's a good chance like you won't like wear it again. Uh, in that combination. But I would love to know, what are your go-to pieces to stay warm and stylish during the colder months? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and share this with a friend who might enjoy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this video. I want to add on to his thoughts. Um, and uh, if you like see all these like jackets and you feel sweaty just looking at them, uh, I feel like the band strap will be a useful, you know, product to try at least. Uh, we also like guarantee it. So if you're if you get it and you try it outside and it, it you're not happy with it, just let us know and we'll refund you in full. Um, but uh, yeah, we have a twenty percent off discount going on uh, worldwide. We ship on um, uh, anywhere you uh, you are probably uh, the bandstrap.com. Uh, we're also on Amazon as well. But um, feel free to ask us any questions place an order um, and let us know your thoughts. Uh, hopefully you liked it, the video. If you liked it, please like it and please subscribe for similar videos like this about like fashion and jackets and stuff like that. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.